With the NHL preseason coming to an end and the regular season starting relatively soon, in today's video I'm going to be talking about 5 players who I think played incredible during the preseason and I know a lot of people are just going to say it's just preseason, it doesn't matter, but this definitely could be a confidence boost for these players and some players are really battling for roster spots, so with that being said, let's get right into the video. Starting off the list, we have Dylan Dubé of the Calgary Flames. Now, Dylan Dubé was a guy who wasn't really expected to come in and compete for a roster spot as Calgary kind of already had their roster solidified with just a couple things to tinker with here and there. But Dylan Dubé came into camp, came into preseason to prove a point and show that he really can compete for a roster spot this season. He was their second round pick, 56th overall back in 2016. He's 20 years old. In the 2017-18 season, he played in 53 games and had 38 goals and 46 assists for 84 points for the Kelowna Rockets and so far this preseason in six games he has four goals and two assists and is a plus one and in one of those games he had a hat trick. This is a very welcoming sight for the Calgary Flames organization and their fans as Dylan Dubé is a very talented guy but he was never really seen as a guy to come in and be a game changer for the Calgary Flames especially as soon as next season but that very well could be the case and definitely barring injury he probably will get some opportunities to play at an NHL level Level this season as he showed like I said he had a hat trick in the preseason and I know it is only preseason but that is scoring goals at an NHL level and he showed he can do that at the age of 20 years old and they do have a guy like Sam Bennett who really isn't working out at the center position and maybe a guy like Dylan Dubé could come in and take over the role that Sam Bennett was supposed to do when he was drafted so all in all a very solid preseason so far for Dylan Dubé. Next up is Andreas Athanasiu of the Detroit Red Wings. Now this is one I've been watching closely because I've seen every game that he's played so far of the preseason. He was Detroit's 4th round pick, 110th overall back in 2012. He's actually 24 years old, I messed up and put 28 so that's my mistake there. He's been playing center throughout the majority of the preseason and I think Detroit wants him to play center. Obviously with Zetterberg retiring that's leaving a big gap there. In his career with the Red Wings so far in 172 games, he has 43 goals and 33 assists for 76 points. And in this preseason so far in just 3 games, he has 4 goals and 2 assists for 6 total points and is a plus 6. So yes, it is only preseason, but he's been matched up against some very good lines. He played against the Pittsburgh Penguins when they had Malkin and Kessel playing. He played against the Blackhawks when they had Debrinkit, Kane, Taves, Schmaltz, Keith, and all those guys playing, and he did very, very well. And yes, I know a lot of people are going to say I'm biased because this is a Detroit player, but I really do think he's been playing unbelievable, and hopefully that goes to his confidence and he can transition that into the regular season because this is a guy some people talked about the past couple of years as a breakout candidate, and he really hasn't had that that season yet. He's a guy who I think has the skill and speed to be a 25 goal scorer in the NHL and at the center position that would be huge for Detroit especially since Zetterberg retired so a fantastic start to the preseason for Andreas Athanasiu. Next is Jesperi Kotkaniemi of the Montreal Canadiens, their third overall draft pick in this previous NHL draft and I'm pretty happy about this one not because I'm a Montreal fan but just because I kind of feel bad for their fan base and it was a really controversial pick when they selected this guy ahead of Philip Sedina and ahead of a lot of those top defensemen but it's looking like it could pan out it's because he's been playing center in the preseason and he's been doing very well in his career 2017-18 10 goals 19 assists in the Liga for 29 points and this preseason four games a goal and two assists but that plus five is the stat I look at and say that is a very good sign for the Montreal Canadiens. He's been playing very responsible in his defensive end. And if he does come in and play this season and have a solid rookie campaign, I think a lot of the talks about this being a controversial pick will go away. And Mark Bergevin will have made the right decision drafting Kotkaniemi because we all know they do need a center in a bad way. And a report just came out that Claude Julien, head coach of the Canadiens, said he would be very surprised if Kotkaniemi is not on the open opening night roster so hopefully for Kakanami's sake and just for all of Montreal's fans and their organization he transitions this play into the regular season and he becomes that franchise center that they need. Next up is a player a lot of you might not be familiar with and I know for me I actually had no clue who this kid was before the preseason. He's 22 years old, he's a left winger, the St. Louis Blues selected him in the 6th round, 176th overall back in 2014, and his name is Sammy Blaze, and he's really been blazing it up in the preseason, scoring goals for the St. Louis Blues, as in 5 games he has 4 goals, and is a plus 1, and last year in the American Hockey League he had a pretty solid year as well, scoring 17 goals and adding 23 assists 
assists for 40 points, and if this guy pans out to be a solid goal scorer, that just makes the St. Louis Blues even more deadly, as they still have prospects like Jordan Cairo, Robert Thomas, and obviously they had an amazing offseason, and they're probably going to be a team that's going to be competing to win that Western Conference, and having guys in your system like this, that is a really, really good look for your organization, and for Sammy Blaze's sake, I think he can have another really solid year in the American Hockey League. I researched this guy a little bit, and he's an underrated prospect in my opinion, and after watching a little bit of his highlights throughout the preseason and the four goals that he scored, this guy does look like a goal scorer, and St. Louis Blues fans should get excited about him because he's definitely had an unreal preseason. In the last player we're going to talk about, you guys all seen this coming, Ty Ratty. I mean, he's been absolutely tearing it up in the preseason for the Edmonton Oilers, and I really do think he is going to start the season on that line with McDavid over Kyler Yamamoto, but Yamamoto has been playing well in the preseason as well, but I think Ty Ratty has just really taken his game to the next level, and he's really showing that he's made a home here in Edmonton after kind of bouncing around the league a little bit. In four preseason games so far, he has seven goals, 4 assists for 11 points and a plus 8 after putting up just 9 points in the NHL last year, albeit in 14 games looking pretty decent. It has really looked like he's going to be a full-time NHLer this past, or not this past, this next season coming. And if he does play on Connor McDavid's wing, look out because I think this is a guy who could break out to be a 55-60, to 60, maybe even a 65-point player. I mean, hell, I could probably even put up 30 points if I played on a line with Connor McDavid. But Ty Ratty is going to thrive in this situation, and he He's been showing he deserves to be put on that line. He's definitely talented enough. There was no one questioning his talent coming into the league. He really just couldn't find a home. He didn't do well in St. Louis. But now in Edmonton with a full year coming in. And it's going to be really interesting to see what happens. I hoped Kyler Yamamoto was going to be on this line. But now after watching Ty Ratty tear it up in the preseason a little bit. My mind has kind of changed. And now I really want to see how he fares in the NHL. Playing along the most gifted offensive player. And just overall best player in the NHL so an amazing preseason so far for Ty Ratty and for Oilers sake hopefully that transition over to the regular season and they can get back into the postseason where they belong so that is going to wrap up this video I really hope you guys did enjoy make sure you go follow all my social medias I have them up on the screen I'm gonna link them down in the description as well as check out my latest videos and make sure you guys let me know who do you think has been standing out this preseason and who are some guys we should look for to have a breakout year next season and I know it's only preseason but it's just fun to speculate and it is really fun to take a look at players and see how well they do in preseason obviously it's a whole different beast when you head into the regular season but nonetheless still a fun topic so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please make sure to drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel for daily nhl content and i will see you guys all in the next video